Making money in trading is always simplified as buying low and selling high. Identifying the low prices to buy an asset usually involves identifying levels in the market where the price is oversold. And once you've bought the asset, you'll need to find a higher price for you to sell it. And this usually involves identifying levels in the market where the price is overbought. But how do you identify these overbought and oversold levels in the market? This is where the MRC indicator comes into play. MRC stands for Mean Reversion Channel. It's an indicator created by this TradingView user in December of 2020, and its main purpose, as you can see here, is to identify overbought and oversold levels in the market. To add it to our chart, we're gonna click here, then type in Mean Reversion Channel, and it's gonna be this one by Farid. Just look at how beautiful this is. However, the beauty of this indicator isn't in its physical appearance, it's actually in its ability to identify overbought and oversold levels in the market. The mean reversion channel is a tool developed on the principle of the mean reversion theory, which stipulates that price tends to return to its average over time. This tool is designed to provide you with a visual guide to identifying certain critical areas in the price chart as follows. First, these dotted lines are called the inner channel. This channel represents dynamic support and resistance levels. Second, these beautifully colored bands are called the outer channel. This channel is used to identify overbought and oversold conditions in the market. This middle line is called the mean reversion line, and it's gonna be used to identify levels of fair price. Every time the price moves away from this line, the theory is that it will always strive to come back to it, also known as reversing to the mean. Double click on the indicator to access the settings panel and on the inputs tab, change the outer channel size multiplier to 1.5 and disable the line extension option. Then on the style tab, we're gonna disable everything except for these plot background options. Now, a typical way of using this indicator to trade is like this. In a bullish trend, for example, every time the price approaches or touches this upper channel, this indicates an overbought market condition. This is the place where the majority of traders usually enter their short positions with the hope of making lots of money as the price comes back down to the center or below. This strategy may work perfectly in a slow trending market or in a ranging market where the price is moving back and forth. In a strong trending market like this one, this strategy isn't feasible for obvious reasons. You see, in such a strong trend, every time the price enters this upper channel, it may do a little pullback and then quickly continue in the direction of the overall trend. As you can see here, taking trades this way would result in a lot of losses. To avoid this, we're gonna add another tool called Smooth Moving Average, this one by TradingView that's under the Technicals tab. Double click on it, and on the Inputs tab, change the length to 200. Then on the Style tab, you can customize it to whatever you want. For me, I'm gonna change the plot color to yellow and increase the thickness a little bit. The Smooth Moving Average is a perfect indicator for identifying long-term trends in the market. When the price is constantly trading above it, that indicates a long-term bullish trend and we're gonna be looking to take only long trades. Conversely, when the price is constantly trading below it, that indicates a long-term bearish trend and we're gonna be looking to take only short trades. So combining these two indicators, we could take a long trade every time the price pulls back and rejects off of this lower channel as long as both the price and the lower channel are above this moving average. For a short trade, the price needs to pull back and reject off of this upper channel as long as both the price and the upper channel are below this moving average. This strategy is just like before, but it's better now because as opposed to previously where we could enter trades against the overall trend, this moving average is gonna allow us to enter trades only in the direction of the overall trend. So like here, even though the market was oversold at this level, we entered this trade because this was an oversold market in an overall long-term bullish trend. Now, this is good. However, there is still one problem. How do you know exactly when to enter your trade? 
Do you enter when the candles are still in the channel? Do you enter after a candle closes above the channel? Do you enter three candles after? To avoid any confusion, we're gonna need these next two indicators. But before we add them to the chart, what broker do you guys use to trade? Personally, I use Henko Trade. As you can see here, this is my trading history. I mainly scalp gold. And up here, you can see that it's actually a live account. The reason why I love Henko Trade so much is because of their extremely low commissions and spreads. On Forex, for example, the spreads can go as low as 0.0, .0 pips, which is the lowest it can go. And for those of you that love high leverage, guess what? Henko Trade offers up to 500x leverage. And if that's not enough, they're also going to give you a 100% bonus for all your deposits up to $25,000. So if you deposit, say, $500, they're going to give you a bonus of $500 so you'll have $1,000 to trade with. To access the bonus, as well as all the other perks, sign up to Henko Trade using the link in the video description. Back to the video. On the indicator search tab, search for QQE signals. This one by Colin MCK. Then type in Hawkeye volume. This one right here. Double click on the Hawkeye volume and on the inputs tab, change the divisor to four. And on the style tab, change the plot color to white. Now to trade using this strategy, here is how we're gonna do it. For a long trade, first, both the price and the lower channel of the MRC indicator should be above the 200 period smooth moving average. This indicates a long-term bullish trend and also ensures that we're gonna be buying an oversold asset, but in the direction of the overall bullish trend. Second, the price should enter into or touch the lower channel of the MRC indicator. This indicates that the market is oversold in an overall bullish trend. An oversold market in a bullish trend highly increases the probability of the market continuing in the direction of the overall trend. Next, the QQE signals indicator should print a long signal. Lastly, we want this last bar of the Hawkeye volume indicator to be above this white moving average. This indicates the presence of enough bullish volume in the market to push the price all the way to take profit. All our entry conditions are met on this candle, so we're gonna enter a long trade here. The stop loss is gonna be set below the most recent swing low, and for the take profit, we're gonna set it at two times the risk. We let the trade run and take profit. Here are the conditions for a short trade. First, both the price and the upper channel of the MRC indicator should be below the 200 period smooth moving average. This indicates a long-term bearish trend and also ensures that we're gonna be short selling an overbought asset, but in the direction of the long-term bearish trend. Second, the price should enter into or touch the upper channel of the MRC indicator. This indicates that the market is overbought in an overall bearish trend. An overbought market in a bearish trend highly increases the probability of the market continuing in the direction of the overall trend. Next, the QQE signals indicator should print a short signal. Lastly, we want this last bar of the Hawkeye volume indicator to be above this white moving average. This indicates the presence of enough bearish volume in the market to push the price all the way to take profit. All our entry conditions are met on this candle, so we're gonna enter a short trade here. The stop loss is gonna be set above the most recent swing high. And for the take profit, we're gonna set it at two times the risk. We let this trade run and take profit. This is just one of the many strategies that you can do using the mean reversion or MRC indicator. On top of this, you can even try adding things like price action, smart money concepts, or even support and resistance to make this strategy so much better. That's been it for this video. I hope you found some value. If you did, please hit the like button below and even consider subscribing to stay tuned. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys next time.